Hey everybody, it's Gypsy. Um, you know that I talk a lot about eating healthy, um, you know, farm fresh food, supporting our local farmers and ranchers. And you knew before my accident, I would always buy my food uh, from local farms around where I was living in New Mexico. So after my accident, and I did talk about this in a previous video, I was kind of at the mercy of others and I just had to eat what was provided, use products at what was provided, you know, chemicals. Um, but now that I am uh, settled for the moment and I am um, back in my teeny tiny hometown of like 500 some people, and it's a rural area and everything. Um, I'm going to be here for an indefinite amount of time. I still have no idea what's going on or how long or anything like that, but I'm here now. And so what I've been eating has been bothering me. And I really, really, I'm like, I got to get back to my farm fresh food. Anyways, I went online and I thought, I'm going to go back to farm fresh milk. Wanted raw milk, but it's harder to find over here for some reason. Anyways, um, so I looked up dairy farms and I found this one in a Amish town here about two towns over. Yeah, there's a town in between the town I'm in and the town Burton where this farm is. It's called Rowdy Cow. Anyways, I liked what they had and the prices was re were really good. And you know, here I am. I usually love to go to the farms, visit, buy my stuff that way. But I can't get around very well anymore because, well, even though I have begun weight bearing, I still have to use a walker and a wheelchair. And so it's hard for me. And so I saw that this farm has delivery pickup options. And so I thought, well... I can order online and pay and then have somebody drive me there and I can pick up my food. But then I saw their delivery option. They said you can purchase our products and have them delivered as well as other local farms uh, through, uh, what's it called? Market Wagon. I never heard of Market Wagon. Well, I have been living in the Southwest. Market Wagon is in the eastern part of the country. I want it, for some reason, the link to the map of where, what states they deliver in, I can't get to today. I did it yesterday and I didn't write down. I thought I'd do it today and I cannot get to it. Anyways, um, I'd say they seem to do the most business in like Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, uh, a little bit in Western Pennsylvania, Minnesota, there's a bunch of others. So I am going to put the link to the site in the comments below. Anyways, oh my God, I went on there and I looked and it's all local, okay? It, it, it is um, only in your area. Those farms is what they deliver. So, all right, where I live now in Northeast Ohio, they do the greater Cleveland area. The greater Cleveland area consists of seven uh, counties, okay? Now, you, Cuyahoga County you know, is, is the city. It's, it's the big city, Cleveland, and its suburbs. Surrounding counties... Um, are like rural, they're semi-rural and rural. So we have a lot of farms in between like Cleveland and like Toledo, Columbus, Youngstown, Akron. It's all rural in between, the whole state is like that. So I guess we're mostly a rural state, so we have a lot of farms. So all the farms in Northeast Ohio, not all of them, but there's a bunch of them on Market Wagon. Oh my God, any kind of um, food I want from dairy, eggs, meat, produce, honey, everything is on there. 
And these farms, I, I believe uh, their food prices, comparable to today's shit that's going on, is very good. Now, I, where was I? I think I was in a store recently here in Ohio. I think I saw a dozen eggs in the store, not free range, not from a farm, $9 a dozen. I saw a dozen eggs um, on Market Wagon. Now, this is my area. I'm talking five, six, six fifty a dozen, and you could get quail eggs, duck eggs, whatever. The prices are pretty good. The meat's expensive. It's it is anywhere these days, but it is organically grass fed. Uh, chickens, organic. I mean, it's it's. It is well worth it. So anyways, I haven't placed an order yet. I am going to place an order and have it delivered this week. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. But I'm just so excited. I had to talk about it now. So if you live in the eastern part of the country and you're looking for something like this, this sounds really good. I'm going to do a review later. I can't get around. I could drive now, but there's a matter of the wheelchair in, you know, if I'm going to do a long distance thing, I need the wheelchair and my left leg isn't strong enough to support my weight to help me get the wheelchair out. So I would need somebody to go with me. So this is a great option for somebody who's laid up. And then of course you have the fact that, all right, I want all my food farm fresh from farms. Well, it takes a lot of hopping around. Oh, in Ohio, we're big. We're like the county I live in is, believe it or not, the largest producer of maple syrup in uh, the country, in, uh, you know, United States. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I don't know if they meant by, by size because we're a very tiny rural county. Um, but anyways, so we have a lot of maple products on our um, market wagon. It's very exciting. Oh, I was wondering who was the opponent. Oh, sorry. So I can't wait to try it. So, you know, even when I am mobile again, going around all the different farms that I want to get all my, like, I want to get my meat, I want to get my eggs, you know, poultry, produce, everything. It would take a lot to keep going around all these farms. So to just put in your order and then the farmers gather at the hub and they bring what people have ordered from them. Okay, and then they deliver it. So like, all right, it's different for whatever state, whatever area you are in. For instance, in Northeast Ohio, we have to place our order, I think, by midnight on Tuesday. And then they deliver it on Wednesday. So, I think this is a good way, one, to get fresh, healthy food. Um... Oh, baked goods are on there too, because I can't, I love to bake my own bread, but I just can't do the kneading with not being able to distribute my weight right now. There are people who make bread on there. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a great way to get that, and you guys know how I feel about supporting small business these days, and especially our farmers and ranchers. This is the perfect way to do it. You can keep so many farmers in your area and small businesses in your area, support them and keep them in business very easily like this. So I am so excited that I found this. I guess they have, it's been a few years since they have been in business and I never heard of them. Of course, I left quite a while ago and I don't think they were here, at least not in Ohio when I moved. Uh, but then I'm back and I found them. I'm just so excited. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So any, any of you who live like in the eastern part of the United States, check it out. I'm going to put the link below. Um, so yes, it's exciting. It's exciting because we really, really, we need to eat healthier, have healthier products, pure, natural, and if you can't do it yourself or get there yourself, this is a great solution. And it's all local to your area, which is very, very important. 
Um, so I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be and make it a joyful one.